Good evening. This is a uh, special meeting of the Permanent Mun Municipal Building Committee. Uh, we are meeting tonight to uh, vote on the notice to proceed for the library uh, guaranteed maximum price and also conditional approval on a notice to proceed for the design of the police station. Um, it is currently 536. We're running a little bit late. I call the meeting to order. Uh, the first order of business is the warrant. Uh, the warrant is, I think I distributed this to everybody. Uh, we have four items on the warrant. One for CBI Consulting. Uh, this is the um, final payment for the police station um, investigation and report, $14,875. Commodore Building, uh, an, their April invoice for pre-construction services of $6,860. Lowell Publishing, um, advertising for uh, qualifications, $293.40. <clears throat> that was in March of this year. And uh, Lowell Publishing for $241.28. It's an old invoice from September of last year to advertise for qualifications for the OPM. Uh, the total therefore is $22,269.68. Uh, do I have a motion to uh, any, first of all, any discussion? Uh, is there a motion to approve? We have to do a roll call. Uh, I'll make a motion to um, approve the uh, in the warrant of twenty two thousand two hundred sixty nine dollars and sixty eight cents. Mike okay, Scaduto, second. All in favor? Daryl Baker, yes. Mike Scaduto, yes. Steve Moore, yes. Brian Pasquale, yes. Great, thank you very much. Okay, and the next order of business is to approve the minutes of. Now I have June third down here, but. I guess the last meeting minutes we have are revised from May 27th. So I'm going to revise this to um, read approved minutes of June or May 27th. Uh, they've been modified by two members of the committee. Uh, are there, is there any further discussion? Do I have a motion to approve the minutes of May 27th? <laughs> I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of May 27th. Uh, I'll second. Mike Scaduto. All in favor? Daryl Baker, yes. Mike Scaduto, yes. Steve Moore, yes. Brian Pasquale, yes. Great. Thanks very much. Um, now to the main order of business is to vote on the notice to proceed for the library guarantee maximum price. I made a presentation to the Board of Selectmen on Monday with the total project cost. Total project cost is $15 million. That's $400,000 above uh, what the town has appropriated. Uh, the library has obligated to pick up uh, any overage over the 14.6. And as I understand it, and uh, Mark and Sam, you can jump in. You are putting a four hundred thousand dollars into an escrow account. Is that correct? Uh, we voted up to four hundred thousand dollars, and the um, finance team will take that out as they at at their discretion from trust funds. Okay, thanks. So um, right now the uh, the um, total project budget is uh, around $40,000 under the 15 million. So that puts us in within budget. Um, if, is there any discussion on that? Uh, just one piece there. I recognize um, if I saw through the different pieces there, there's um, two, two pots of um, contingency funds, uh, approximately, Seven hundred thousand dollars, eight hundred. Yeah, a little over seven hundred. Yep. Okay. So, what what is the contractor's contingency? That's for any anything that they miss in their bid. You know, say that uh, 
uh, bollards, you know, out, out by the uh, transformer pad. Um, the site work contractor excludes them, but maybe the miscellaneous metals guy forgot to include them. So there are, you know, $1,200 worth of bollards that they have to pick up. So that comes out of contractor contingency. And that's, uh, you know, in the $350,000 range. And then, uh, then there's the owner's contingency where if there is any, uh, anything that the owner wants to, or any unforeseen conditions or anything the owner wants to add, uh, that's what that contingency is used for. And then my question is based on our experience with some of the other projects going on, we were pretty comfortable that there's sufficient um, margins there for, uh, because it doesn't sound like there's additional funding available from the trustees if, um, you know, as we approach those uh, limits. Well, you know, that's a good question. And, and uh, Chuck uh, DeCoste brought up the same uh, question on Monday. Um, it is a bit on the low side, but we do have a guaranteed maximum price. Uh, we have a contractor that worked with us during design. Uh, they have been integral in uh, selecting uh, materials and uh, the approach to the project. So, you know, maybe the 3% is, is, is good. And right now we haven't bought out any of the uh, subcontractors and all, all the numbers that the uh, the contractor is using are, you know, the first uh, first uh, submission from the subcontractors. So when they go through and buy out, we expect to realize some savings. How much, you know, I couldn't tell you. But mm -hmm. typically you do realize some savings during the buyout. <clears throat> okay. Okay, as long as I think there's a good understanding of where we are with the overall budget and reserves, I'm comfortable with the um, package there. And I appreciate the detailed review that I saw uh, from some of the other members uh, there, because that's a level of detail that I, I don't have any insight into. Right. So uh, any other questions, comments? Do I have a motion to approve uh, the notice to proceed for Commodore building for the uh, GMP. I make a motion as uh, as stated. Second. Uh, all in favor? Daryl Baker, yes. Mike Scaduto, yes. Brian Pasquale, yes. Steve Moore, yes. Thanks very much. Uh, on to the police station. Um, now, there's a <coughs> going to be voting tomorrow at town meeting. Uh, for $500,000 for the police station. Some of that includes uh, design and uh, construction administration monies for the, uh, the designer. Um, that's somewhere in the vicinity of uh, $75,000, if I recall. Um, we need to uh, issue a notice to proceed for them to begin with the design on Monday. Uh, the schedule has us uh, putting these uh, design documents out for bid end of July, beginning of August, which would give us completion of masonry work by Thanksgiving, which is critical uh, due to the uh, weather conditions. So uh, it's, uh, it's imperative that we do a conditional, vote on a conditional notice to proceed for CBI pending tomorrow's approval by the town committee or town uh, meeting. So is there any discussion? Uh, just a couple of questions. I mean, uh, it, you know, uh, I know uh, we had problems before with the original piece of the, uh, uh, some of the construction over the winter months. Uh, obviously I know that there's products that can uh, do that. Is there anything that they can do to pull the schedule up? It seems fairly long, <laughs> quite frankly, uh, here for uh, a renovation project like this. Well, it does, but you know, we have to follow mass general law. We have to put it out for um, the uh, file sub bids. Um, that's kind of a, that's a, like a one month process by, by the time you put the sub bids out and uh, get the results back and reconcile them. Uh, 
I spoke to the OPM uh, yesterday. We're hoping to, you know, pull back about 10 days uh, before putting this uh, out to bid. Um, and I think that the um, actual construction period has some float in it. So uh, it depends on, you know, it depends on what we get back. But uh, I think it's a, I think it's a conservative schedule. So I, I, you know, from my, my, my understanding, talking to the OPM and to the designer, it's a, it's a conservative schedule, not by a lot, but maybe by two weeks. So if we could get the uh, construction, the masonry done by uh, the beginning of November, that would be good. And then the window work, I'm not as concerned about in winter, in, right. in the winter months. Okay. Any other comments? Uh, so do I have a motion to approve uh, conditionally on tomorrow's town meeting approval uh, an NTP for CBI to proceed with uh, contract documents? I'll make a motion to approve as stated, the motion as stated. Second. All in favor? Daryl Baker, yes. Mike Scaduto, yes. Brian Pasquale, yes. yes. Okay, that was a Brian and Steve at the same time, yes? So, uh, yes, sorry. <laughs> uh, any other uh, comments or? Uh... Well, I appreciate you guys uh, taking time on a Friday afternoon for this special meeting. Uh, it's essential to our schedule to get this uh, work going. And, uh, you know, we all appreciate it. And we'll see you tomorrow at 10 meeting. All right. Okay. See you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you.